Hi guys. So this week we are going to get started on a new project. Um, so I have wanted to procure myself a couple of big puffy dramatic sleeves for quite some time now. So I have come upon the decision to make a corset top with big old puffy sleeves. So I was searching around the internet to try to find a pattern that I would like and I couldn't find what exactly I wanted so I just decided to combine two to make said <laughs> top. Uh, so I decided to make uh, the corset top from Ms. Patterns that I found on Etsy. Uh, it's a pretty popular corset pattern and it's a digital one. So I'm gonna try that out and I'm going to put on some big puffy sleeves that I got from Lady Marlowe Studios which I've used her patterns before. Um, they are reproduction patterns and she has loads of just sleeve packages. So I ended up going with the 8779B uh, sleeves and I am very, very excited to have some nice big sleeves and I hope I hope they turn out all right, but we are going to go ahead and get started on that. First thing is first, you want to cut out and iron flat all of your pieces. Uh, this includes the lining and outer layer of all of the corset pieces. You're going to want to make sure these are nice and flat. Then you're going to start by pinning together the front center pieces with the side front pieces. This is going to be a little fun because these are curved pieces so make sure you're lining them up very precisely. And then you're going to stitch these together with a straight stitch one centimeter from the edge. Then you're going to take your back and your center back pieces and pin them together with right sides together. Straight stitch this just like you did the front pieces. After that you're going to want to take your front pieces and your back piece and you're going to pin them with right sides together at the side seams. Straight stitching and repeating for the other side. Then repeat this whole thing with the lining pieces. I ended up having to do quite a bit of finagling with this pattern to get it to fit properly and even once I thought of it I needed to take it in even more so make sure you take that into consideration if you purchase this pattern and try to make this is it might be a little bigger than you expected so make sure uh, like I did I used my lining as a mock-up to try to fit it to me a little better. So I ended up taking about two inches in the side panels and a little bit at the top neck edge of the front of the bodice to uh, make it fit a little better because it was quite large. I then used my lining layer mock-up, quote unquote, to size the outer layer and bring that in a little bit to match the lining layer. And yes, I am eating during this video. I was hungry. Just sh shut your face. You, you can't lie, this is a little bit of a mood. A lady eating some crab rangoons while sewing. You know, don't judge me. After both layers are adjusted, you're going to want to lay your lining layer and your outer layer with right sides together, 
taken all the way around, but I left the top of the sleeves and the underarm sleeve bits open. So anything that is going to be touching your uh, armhole, leave that unsewed because we are adding in some fantastically dramatic sleeves to this and I figured the best way to do this was to just put the edge of the sleeve in between the two layers to make it nice and you're also going to want to leave the bottom edge of the top open as well straight stitch around all of the places where you need to stitch but do not stitch those two places I mentioned together because you're going to need those undone for later. Once you're done with this, turn everything inside out. Once right side out, I laid flat the sleeve portions and I matched up the front and the back of each part of the sleeves and straight stitched across to them. So have that seam you just sewed in the center and have one side be the outer layer and the opposite side be the inner layer. After that, I began work on the grommets. I decided to go with eight grommets on each side of the center back. So I measured these out and then cut out the holes for them to go through and then pounded them through. Once that was completed, I began work on the sleeves. First thing I did was add the gathering lines to the shoulders. Between the dotted lines, I usually add two lines of long stitches along the top edge to do my gathers. I've had some people ask about that. I add those two lines and then I will take, uh, say, the back two strings and I will pull the the fabric along the thread in order to gather it. Once the top edge was gathered, I then went ahead and sewed the inner arm seam of the sleeves. And then I finished that. I have been finishing these by tucking in each of the raw edges and then stitching along the folded edge and then folding it against the sleeve and stitching down the length of the folded over seam. Once that seam is finished, I added gathering lines to the bottom edge of the sleeve as well. Then I did some gathering. Then I began working on the lower cuff of the sleeve. This was a little difficult to figure out at first. I decided to go with some elastic buttonholes instead of, uh, I think they just had fabric hoop buttonholes in the pattern, so I was an elastic to make sure they were, you know, nice and secure, but uh, I ended up measuring out how much I would need and knotting where it would need to either go inside the seam or outside of the seam and pinning it together. This cuff was kind of tricky. I did end up uh, sewing the open edges of the cuffs first and then the uh, lower raw edge. Then I opened up each of the layers and stitched the uh, center seam. So it was kind of a little tricky way of doing it, but it ended up looking good, so I'm pretty pleased with it. After that, I began working on the boning. So I used zip ties for this which is a pretty common thing I feel for people these days to use for bonings of corsets. Uh, so I made some casings out of some wide ribbon that I sewed into smaller sections. 
and then I inserted the zip ties into them after I had trimmed them down and cut any corners. Once I did that, I added on the bottom cuff to the upper sleeve portion of the sleeve and I edge stitched around the whole lower edge and around the upper edge of the cuff. Then I started adding the boning into the bodice by stitching on either side of the channel. I believe there are 10 pieces of boning in this corset. So most of them tend to be towards the seams. So one at the side seam, back, one at the side seam front, and then there are two straight down the center front bodice, two across the side of the bodice, two diagonal going down in a V towards the center, and then you repeat the same pattern on with the side seams of the other side. Then I took the sleeves and pinned the sleeves to the outer layer of the bodice at the sleeve hole with right sides together, stitched this, tucked in the raw edges of that and the lining layer of the bodice, and then edge stitched along the sleeve line. I edge stitched around the whole center back and top edge of the garment. Putting in the rest of the boning here. Then I used a double overlock stitch on the bottom edge of the blouse. And then I pinned some bias tape to the bottom edge and stitched this to finish off the bottom edge. And I sewed on the buttons to the sleeve cuff. I decided to go with eight little circular gold buttons. Uh, four of which on the top are decorative and the bottom ones are usable. I repeated this with the other cuff. And then I attempted to try to lace this on my own. I did end up having to go back and take this in further. I ended up cutting out uh, about the width of where the grommets are on each side of this and then uh, redoing them and then actually looking up how to lace a corset and lacing it properly before I ended up getting onto the reveal. I'll have you know I am completely in love with this top even if it gives me some pretty strange looks at the grocery store when I wear it. I absolutely love it. It is so whimsical and just all around adorable and dramatic and it's just it's just so cute. Um, it's very cottage y and I love that. The sleeves are super dramatic and you know you don't see them just anywhere. Uh, I just, I don't know what to say other than that I love this. It's also surprisingly very comfortable to wear all day. I am wearing a little uh, ribbed cotton 
like tube top underneath it um, just because I don't really think I would enjoy wearing a corset without anything underneath it. Uh, but that is just what I've heard you should do, so I do it. There is still a tiny bit of gaping at the top neck edge where it curves, but I plan on fixing that soon enough. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.